Dana, just before we get to the fights, I just wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously, you know, fans back in the building, it's not often we have the governor and the mayor on stage. Can you just set up what this event means historically for the UFC? I mean, does this feel like a, a, a huge moment in, yeah. in history? Yeah, it's funny because there's been a lot of monumental moments in my career, and this is one of them, you know what I mean? It's the, Saturday night's a big night, not only for all, all the fighters up here and for the UFC and the sport, but I think for sports in general. You know, um, we showed in the beginning of the pandemic that, that this could be done safely and, and it could be done the right way. And uh, now we're showing that you can do it in closed venues uh, and it can be done safe. So yeah. it's, a big, it's a big night on Saturday. And can you say what it sets up for the rest of the year? I mean, we know we obviously have Houston sold out. We got Vegas sold out in July. I mean, is this, are we good the rest of the year? Are there fight nights back available? What's, what's the plan? We'll see how this thing plays out. I mean, uh, obviously, as more states start to open up and, and, and are welcoming people to come in and sell out arenas, I'm not going to do 20, 30, 60%. If we can go to a place that we can sell out the arena, we'll be there. If we got to keep coming to Florida every weekend, uh, we'll do that too. Kamar, I want to start with you if I could. Um, you know, Jorge has been a, a big part of the story around your career for the last eight or nine months or so. His name gets mentioned a lot with you a lot. So I'm curious in that time, um, has this fight become personal to you at all? No, never. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say uh, I'm glad to actually have the fans back to feel this energy from everybody. So uh, first and foremost, you know, thanks, Dana, for making this happen. Uh, but no, it's not personal at, at all. You know, if he's making it personal, that's on him. You know, for me, it's not personal. Uh, it's all about business. And um, he's that next guy that I've picked. So, yeah. You could only pick up, you know, one win at a time, one title defense at a time. But now every time you, you fight, we're talking about George St. Pierre records, Anderson Silva records, John Jones records, those sort of things. So I'm curious, you're creating your legacy. Is there one mark or number or record, whether it be title defenses, win streak. I mean, is there something that you have in mind for yourself as this is where I want to put myself? No, I think um, I just want to finish my career. I just want to take one fight at a time. And then by the time I'm said and done, then everybody can talk about who's been the best. I mean, uh, this guy next to me on the other side is, uh, you know, he's a good fighter. He is a good fighter. And I take him very, very seriously. Thanks, Jim. Or Thank if I could for you, uh... <laughs> clearly the first time, it was a tough assignment, right? A week's notice, around the world, weight cut, all that. But you did get to spend 25 minutes. What did you learn about him in that fight that you can use this time around? Amen to that. There's a lot of things going into the fight that I thought, you know, I do my math on everybody and you have like these theories and blueprints and going in there and being in there at 25 minutes makes me know that my math is a lot much sharper. You know, it, it just one thing is thinking in your head and one thing is feeling the strength level, the endurance, his rhythm, how he moves, how he's thinking, how he reacts to certain situations. So I take that same blueprint, bring it into the next fight and execute my math. Así mismo. Vamos. Dale. And Jorge, I was going to ask, you, obviously the variable everybody says this time is you got a full training camp. But I'm curious, and you kind of touched on it there, I think, but what does that mean? Is it more than just, hey, he's going to have more cardio? Or is it, hey, the approach is going to be entirely different? Not me, not having to cut 20 pounds in six days means a lot to me, you know. Um, last time, yes, sir, I will be doing that, bringing that title right back to Miami. Um... All the energy I wasted on cutting weight is going to be spent in, in putting a finish on them. Nice. Amen. Yes, sir. And Jorge, last thing I had for you, and I just want to ask it, it's kind of evident here. I mean, I know all fighters say, hey, once we get in the cage, it's just the octagon in the cage. But fans back in the building, Florida, you seem to thrive under the brightest lights. I mean, is the crowd going to bring you a different kind of energy on, on fight night? I mean, you can hear it yourself. You see it yourself. These guys won't. These guys want violence, and let me tell you, they, they, they don't cheer for me because I'm so good looking or the food that I eat or nothing. That's not why they cheer for me. They cheer for me because I give everybody their hard-earned money. I come in here to perform and bring the violence that they crave, and that's the only reason why I got all these fans behind me. But the There's fans no can't secret. fight for you. I'm going to whoop your ass off by myself. I don't need nobody. What? 
I don't need nobody. I whoop your ass all by myself. You said that last time. What happened? Yeah. You know what happened? You rubbed feet with me. I thought you what happened? Fight. You said that last time. You rubbed your feet on mine pretty well. You're pretty good at rubbing my feet, bro. Really? Yep. Face didn't say that. Let's go. I didn't get the broken nose. You did. I came in the fight with the broken nose. Okay, cool. Got it. I want to see what the next list is. All right. All right. Let's just be honest here. Let's be honest. You got 14 losses in your career, seven in the UFC. You're three and three in your last six. You are sitting there today because I chose you. So don't I'm lose coming around the track and you are the first guy I'm about to lap. Period. Don't, don't lose to this guy. Hey, you just said it, man. Don't lose to You're this the guy. The first guy I'm about to lap. Don't lose to this guy, you know? Don't lose to this guy. And when you get uh when you figure it out that we, we stopped on uh, that rubbing foot technique, you're gonna be in for a long one, man. Would you have more time to prepare for this fight? Was there a different approach that you used to prepare for this one that you have that, being that you have more time? Yeah, we rubbed on uh, we worked on these techniques that'll stop him from rubbing my feet, you know? That that was the only thing that I couldn't stop last time, you know? So we'll make sure that there's no feet rubbing this time. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, um, my next question, and I'm out of here. Obviously, you know, we both from home team, 305, and despite being the underdog, I'm still rocking with you, and I need to hear from your mouth. I need eye contact. Look right at me. I want you to make right sure you tell me. I can bet this money and you the lock. You the lock. You the lock for the fight. Is that Chad Ochocinco? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What's Is good? That Chad? Yeah. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm here, man. If I had your hands, I'd cut mine off. <laughs> but hey, I just want to, man, I, want to, I need to hear from your mouth that you the lock before I put this money on despite being on the dog. Let's go, my brother. Hey, man to man, soul to soul. Let's go, man. It's a Let's start go. back. All right, lock. You already said you wanted to run it back. And you said that the reason because of that is you didn't get that finish. You wanted to prove that you could beat him. If you don't finish him this Saturday, will you be satisfied? Well, it's not about getting the finish. It's the fact that I didn't feel like I satisfied my, uh, my athletic career. You know, I come in each and every fight, and I come in because I train very, very hard. I didn't feel like I broke his will. And on Saturday night, once I break his will, absolutely, I'll be satisfied. Never will. Are you surprised by the fan reaction today, Kamari? No, 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 I'm not surprised. Uh, I like it. I'm just glad they had the fans back. I like it. Whether they're booing, whether they cheer, you know, I've been through, I mean, let's look at the Covington fight. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm a professional, so I go in and I do my job each and every time. A question for Masvidal. Jorge, I see the BMF belt is on the table. I was wondering, is that on the line in this fight? You got to be a BMF to compete for that one, and this dude ain't it, so... Usman, any thoughts? On what? The fact that he's saying the BMF belt is not on the line. The what? He says that the belt is not on the line this way. What fight. belt? <laughs> there's there's, is there's it, three belts here, three shiny belts here. This is what's important. I want that yours. Piece of shit. You're right. You're right, man, and I want your belt. All right, last one for Dana. Dana, I see you up there. You're smiling, you're laughing, you're enjoying the fans. How much does this actually mean to you to finally have this back? No, nah, it's... Listen, I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's, it's awesome. And uh, I've been so excited for this Saturday night. I can't wait till this place is full and um, all these guys walk out of the tunnel on Saturday night. It's going to be good. Thanks, guys. Rose, we know how difficult it is to become a UFC champion, that climb up to doing it. What would it mean to you to achieve that goal twice and re-climb your way back to the belt? It would mean that um, I believe... Uh, that I'm right in what I believe and that when I do my best, I am the best. It means that uh, if God wants me to be the champion, I'll be the champion. And for Jessica, uh, you are looking to become the, the second female to win belts in two different divisions. Just talk about what that could mean for your legacy. É, você está em linha para ser a segunda atleta do feminino a conseguir dois cinturões. O que, que isso quer dizer para o seu legado? Eu acredito que meu legado, isso é incrível, né? Mais uma conquista, mais uma vitória, sinal de que meu trabalho está sendo bem visto, que eu estou conseguindo fazer grandes lutas dentro do UFC. E espero continuar fazendo muito mais legado ainda e vou dar meu melhor no sábado para todos vocês. Yeah, this Saturday I'm going to do my best for all you guys out there. You know, it's a big chance for me to put a big stamp on my legacy. 
and not just for mine, but for my whole team and everybody that's been working with me for so long. And for Valentina, um, you faced a lot of different challenges in your career. What is the difficulty in fighting an opponent like Jessica, shorter, stockier, very powerful? It's the same, the same goal. Um, to prove that I'm the best and that my fan, that uh, shows the best fight, shows the best technique, so, shows the best what I can. And this is the same goal what I have all the time, every time. And to prove that I'm real champion for a long time here in flyweight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.